What this, the whole project is about is to develop the backs of these ambulances for uh, practitioner safety, which directly relates to, to patient safety. Uh, you get used to working in the back of a moving ambulance. Uh, the things are so unpredictable. Uh, even if you know the route you're going, there's factors that are going to come into play with an ambulance takes a sudden stop, a sharp turn, uh, even something that uh, you wouldn't feel in a driver's seat. an unstable patient who's requiring a lot of equipment and a lot of different medications, inevitably you're going to have to be moving one you're sitting. You have to access a lot of medications, especially if it's repeat doses, things like that, and every time you're giving repeat doses of medications, there's repeat assessments, and it just needs to move around that much more. Uh, I'm going to have to intubate him in a moment, yeah, so let's grab that for right now. Okay, we're going to have to stop the ambulance. Why? It's, on, it's outside of the tree. Well, hold on. Can you do CPR? It creates a hazardous working environment in that regard, but the issue is if you're trying to get things done for the patient, uh, there's going to be a trade off between what has to be done in a timely manner for the patient and what can be done safely as a practitioner. People are looking for evidence based design for ambulances, and hopefully, we will help provide some of that. Using state of the art human factors methods, we are systematically evaluating 50 pairs of EMS providers in five provincial health zones across Alberta as they perform an advanced life support scenario. These methods will identify which care tasks are facilitated or hindered by specific ambulance interior designs. The objectives of this research are to improve the workflow and safety in the patient compartment and to translate research results into ambulance design guidelines. What will the results of this study mean for Canadian ambulance manufacturers? Crestline or Demers, which are two Canadian manufacturers of ambulances, if they take up that information, then potentially they'll be much more competitive in the marketplace in the United States and Europe uh, for marketing their ambulances. So they can actually say, well, we have evidence that supports particular designs in the ambulance. Uh, ideally, we'll have better ambulances for Canadians when we're done. practitioners being engaged in the development and uh, their feedback being heard by Ward of the 21st Century. Uh, they feel like they're part of uh, the development of where they work and live. The purpose of the study is to have fun. <laughs> uh, okay, did I miss anything?